find out more about level convex scoliosis. When we talk about a normal anatomy of a spine, the first thing is that we know the front of the spine should be completely straight. And from the side view, we should have curves from the neck to the mid-back to the low back. And these curves from the side are, des are designed to accept forces down on the spine, make the spine flexible, distribute stress. They're considered the natural curves. Um, the cervical and the lumbar are called lordosis because they're facing to the front. And the thoracic spine is facing to the back, which is called a kyphosis. When healthy curves are lost, these normal side view healthy curves, these curves can be displaced into the frontal view where we start getting curves in this direction. And that is what we call a scoliosis. And when we have scoliosis, it affects the biomechanics of the spine in such a way that these, these curves can distribute themselves and they can cause more problems. By definition, a scoliosis is an abnormal curvature of the spine from the front, a sideways curvature with some counter rotation of 10 degrees or greater. If it's 10 degrees or less, it's not considered scoliosis. If it's 10 degrees and greater and there's no rotation, it could be just be a postural deviation and not true scoliosis. There always has to be both those things. Scoliosis can develop anywhere in the spine, cervical, thoracic, lumbar. However, lumbar and thoracic are the most common. So what is levoscoliosis? Well, when we classify scoliosis, it's based upon a couple things. Patient's age, size of curve, the degree of, of risk or progression, whether it's high risk and causation. Also, it's classified by which way it's bending. Is it bending to the right or is it bending to the left? If it's bending to the left, it's called the levoscoliosis. If it's bending to the right, it's called a dextroscoliosis. So therefore, whether one is bending away um, you know, bending away or towards certain organs. Now, most scoliosis patients will have a left lumbar and a right thoracic, okay? Again, a left lumbar and a right thoracic, a level scoliosis in the lumbar and a dextroscoliosis in the thoracic spine. So level convex scoliosis is basically saying that the spine is going to the left side and the convex side, the outer edge, is going to the left. Okay, and the concavity is on the inside of that, right? So every scoliosis has a convex side and a, con and a concavity. Well, the convex side will be going to the left side in a level scoliosis. Now in the level scoliosis that's in the thoracic spine, um, that means the outer edge is going to the left side as opposed to the right. Now, why is a level convex scoliosis in the thoracic spine considered atypical? because we tend to see more association with an underlying pathology, meaning like a neuromuscular condition like Arnold Karai syndrome, a searing, some type of pathology within the spinal cord. There could be congenital malformation causing it to go that way. Degenerative diseases or degenerative parts of the spine can cause it to go in the opposite direction and normally some type of trauma. Now, just because you're diagnosed with a level scoliosis in the thoracic spine doesn't mean it's untreatable. Atypical doesn't mean untreatable. It just means that we have to treat it differently, meaning we have to treat things in reverse in some cases, and sometimes they're more complicated. But once we rule out any underlying condition that could affect treatment in a negative way, and we know it's safe, then we're, we're safe to move forward and we're safe to treat scoliosis patients with an atypical curve or a level thoracic scoliosis just as effectively if they had a dextroscoliosis in the thoracic spine, meaning either left or right. They, uh, we just have to uh, pre prescribe and do the care for that specific patient. So whether what type of condition you have, whether it's a level scoliosis or a dextroscoliosis in the thoracic or lumbar spine, we can normally treat the scoliosis and being proactive towards your scoliosis is always the best choice because we know scoliosis progresses over time and we can progress rapidly over growth. So here at Scoliosis Reduction Center, we first of all try to, if we see an opposite curve, a curve that bends to the left in the thoracic spine, we find number one, is there any underlying condition? If there isn't, then we definitely craft a very comprehensive treatment program to manage and reduce the scoliosis to get the very best results. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this information helpful. If you'd like to hear about other topics and information on scoliosis, type in the comments below and let us know. And finally, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of when we publish content. Thanks.